Money's in the purse. Ooh, money. Ooh. More money. Is this a gift card? Please wait while we access your information. Please, 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 please. Your card balance here. What's up all you beautiful people? Welcome back to the Dooners Family Channel. This is going to be deep search number two of the rich CEO storage unit that we have been going through over on our main channel. So if you haven't subscribed to our main channel or even seen it, that link is down in the description below, as well as all the parts of the rich CEO storage unit that we have gone through. Now, again, this is deep search, so I'm just going more thoroughly into these boxes because on the main channel, we go through them very fast. So that is what this series is dedicated to, is just making sure we didn't miss anything, making sure we didn't miss any cool treasure. So without further ado, let's get into the first box. Box number one, let's go. So this one says linen on the front and master bedroom or master bathroom. So not all linen right when we open it, but this little container has a few bathroom things. Not gonna really get into that because that's pretty much all trash aside from the tote. This next thing says veterans medical supply, which it looks like uh, a shower handle connection thingy. So I guess that'll just be thrown out at the yard sale. This little drawer thing right here for storage, jewelry, whatever you wanna use it for has one piece of jewelry right here in the bottom. All the other ones are empty. So let's see this right here. It just says Avon. So I don't know if these, I'm assuming by the size of them, they're like earrings. Uh, I don't know what else they could be used for. So let's set that with all the other jewelry. And I actually missed in this, what is in here? This thing. I don't know what that is. This little drawer thing will go to the yard sale. Uh, this is trash. This brush is trash. This little thing is trash. Cloth, cloth, trash. This is just toiletry things. Um, some gel for like your teeth, a toothbrush, uh, another toothbrush back or a set of toothbrush, but they're open. So I don't want to put those out at the yard sale. So that is also trash. This, another little tote. Looks like it has military pins in it and maybe just something to help certain pieces of clothes stay up. So I'll just set those aside. So here are the military things we have. And you guys can let me know what these mean. So there's the first one. These two right here just have their name on it, their last name. There's another one. And we have one that just says US. Another one that says US. And that is all. So not many in there, but a little bit. A little shaker cup, or not a shaker cup. I don't know what this is. It looks like it blows something up some way. I don't know. A brush. Uh, looks like a razor stand, which is trash. This thing, honeysuckle in bloom scented sachet. Makeup remover wipes. Some poly grip. Some deodorant, contact cases, this little blow tube, I guess for like asthma or something like that, right? Some pills, a syringe in there, all right. This has a couple inhalers in it. This bag, just more toiletries. So I'm gonna take this pink thing out because this is all trash for the most part. Um, Olay and this Pantene, which are pretty much empty, so they're going in the trash. Dietary cleansing detoxifying program, clean start. Never heard of it. It's never opened. Uh, I'll look at it more closely to see if it has oh, uh, full potency through 12 of 2015. So that is garbage. This is just a heating pad that can be put on smaller parts of your body perfect yard sale item and this is an empty box that had a pocket knife in it but I do not see it in here our next box here just says files but off the top it is not all files which is a good thing so we have more yarn multicolor yarn there's another yarn ball here are these good for the cats I feel like they would need a smaller one I don't know how they would do with a big one but that yarn another thing a multicolored yarn uh, some tape. Oh, there's another thing of yarn in here. Okay, we'll keep that. What's always in these containers? Sewing stuff. I never find the cookies in there. So this one really doesn't have much of anything except for some plastic, like, crystal-looking pieces. And then this one. Oh my gosh, there's like three more down there. This one has bags. At least this one's sorted into just different colored beads. 
So I'll set this aside. Maybe it'll go on our crafting or slowing sewing lot. This little box, all returns must include box. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so it is a Clifford, I guess just car thingy. That's all that is. I don't know if that has any value or not. It's still in the box, so maybe it does. So I'll set this aside for now. This is a old looking stapler, but just a stapler. This beauty for a purpose, Looney Tunes. Uh, these are just a bunch of a uh, Avon bags. And then we have a whole stack of perforated writing pads. Brand new in the box. 12 pads right there. So perfect yard sale things. A thing of tissue paper. This has like doctor's papers in it. Um, this just has uh, more doctor papers. Here's more of the files, doctor papers, doctor papers. Here's a little pad, premium analysis pad. That doesn't have anything written on it, so that can be sold. I'm just gonna toss those. More papers, but I can sell this for office supplies. This right here is literally just a piece of wood, so maybe somebody will buy it. You never know what they can use. To, they can probably use it to craft some something. This has more just random beads and needles here's another one this has beads ones that more ones that look like pearls actually so I'll set that aside more multicolored uh yarn and then this whole glass box just has all paperwork next box says office on it so let's see what's actually in here Right off the bat is this black thing. I don't know what it is. Looks like it's an easel of some sort, but I don't know what you can really use it for. Whatever you want, I guess. This just has random printed out recipes. This, just random craft books, like magazine type books. Oh, I just hit the light. <laughs> Here's three sets of veneers. Someone actually messaged me about these, so I'm gonna set this aside for them. So let's see what this is. If I had to guess, I would probably say it's a mirror. Now, if I can get into it, there we go. You guys are so pretty. You can't even like see pretty and handsome people right there. See, we have a key. We have, <coughs> is this a gift card? Hey, a gift card, which I'm gonna have to call in a second or at some point in the video so stay tuned for that uh those are all business cards this is business cards a little black book which doesn't have anything in it so throw that in the yard sale box we have some money down here in the purse money's in the purse <gasps> 12 cents yay you know anytime oh add two 14 cents Anytime we can find money, even if it's just coins, that's a win in my book, to be honest with you. I don't care how much it is, as long as it's money, money's money. Puts us more and more in the profit, and it adds up after a while. So this stuff, this suction cup, so it'll just go in the yard sale pile. All this stuff is uh, just paperwork. Here's a ring sizer, again, I know he mentioned this in the main channel, but you can literally get this exact same one off Amazon for pretty cheap. So if you're looking for ring sizers, check out Amazon or eBay. So I have some craft beads. Uh, this is, what is this? Finesse bead and jewelry stretch cord. These are just crystal looking plastic beads. This is nothing. Beading wire more this is like fishing line but you can use it for jewelry of course nothing in here but it's broken so this looks like it has this like a little mini slinky i guess you could stretch that out for necklaces and bracelets and whatnot so more crafting more crafting obviously this whole thing's crafting but you know two things of assorted various colored buttons button bonanza it says this scared to open these things just has random beads there on top and random colors on the bottom as well this little container has 
these little things, which have random color beads in it, and the whole thing's filled with that. That's a little cute container. Um, more wire, black beads, more wire. This is um, sheer ribbon, plastic yarn needles, brand new. And then last three containers, just all various colored beads, um, some wire and beads in this one. And then this last one, you can see in there, just has various colored beads. And on this side is just more crafting stuff to make necklaces. I'm just nickel necklaces, bracelets, things like that you can put on a wire. What's up again, guys? Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already, and please share. It takes two seconds. It helps us out a ton. You guys always ask how you can help us. The best way and the easiest way is to like the video, share the video, watch it, and even comment. Even if it's what I say in the video or something that I need help with, anything helps. So if you guys wanna support us, that is the easiest and best way to do so. So let me stop rambling. I just wanted to ask that quick favor of you guys. Let's get right into this tote that I have right here. Next tote here, the green tote that says lace and ribbons. And it looks more like some randomness. So we have a deflated spiky ball. We have a basketball lamp that doesn't, oh, this is the bottom. And you put a light bulb right there. So I guess this could just be thrown at the yard sale. This little thing right here has a smiley face on it because everybody's got to stay happy. Uh, has some toiletries, so nothing much in there. This pocket peak. So this looks like just an arm sling. Maybe you put an ice packet in here. Stuff for babies. Ear, syringe, and nasal respirator. This is Opti Chamber Respironics or something for respiratory again. Personal cassette player. Can I open it? Uh, play, pause, stop. Right here, open. No cassette in there, but a little personal player. This is, what is this? It says pump and sale in plastic bags, so I don't know exactly what that could be used for or how it's used, but it's there. Absorbent cotton's literally just cotton in there. More medical stuff, C-Bond, tubing. All this stuff is like old. I don't know if it's been opened. I don't know how sterile it is. Uh, I know some places will take it, but um, I've called around to places before about medical supplies and nobody really wants it because they don't know 100% the origin of it. Like even if I say it came out of a storage unit that was, you know, clean, they don't know if their house or the storage unit itself has, was infested at any point. So more than likely, most of the time, we just have to take all of this stuff and dump it. Um, there are some things that we give to like free clinics, but other than that, we just kind of got to call and see what they'll take. So we'll see what happens with this. This box is next in line, but it is tall. So I'm going to have to set it right here and take stuff out and show it to you guys. So let's see what we have. So right off the bat, we have some, uh, I guess, unfinished projects that the owner was doing. So I don't know, maybe I could put that at the yard sale. Maybe somebody will want to finish it or want to take it apart or something. There's another one. This is, has legs. Looks like it's legs to something. And what the rest of this box looks like is a mannequin. Let's see how to take this out. So it looks like a pretty good mannequin here. It even has a dial right here on the chest that I guess you could set it and look right here opens. So just measuring the uh, chest measurement. And it looks like she was, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, but she was measuring this, I guess, to make a skirt or something out of it. But I'll take the needles off in a second and get this off of it. There's also two more dials down here, which adjust the hips. Uh, or I guess this is technically would be the waist right here and then the hips. Um, I wonder how much something like this costs though. There's also a back one. Um, yeah, there's back ones also. 
So yeah, I don't know how much something like this costs, but either way, that's a good find, even if we keep it. Next box. I don't think this one said anything on it. I'm hoping it's not all stuff like this because that would be boring. And I know you guys don't want to see that because books are boring. <laughs> but uh, it looks like more files right here. Uh, Regional Road Atlas, a couple more files. Some brand new office supplies. I guess these are like, I don't know, uh, time cards right there, weekly time cards. A brand new doorknob. This right here just says the name on it. It was just like a crafting thing. I guess the owner was working on a brand new composition book. This one, however, has writ uh, writing in it. This one could just go in the trash. This one just discover. So nothing really worth anything. Another t-shirt. This black book literally just has a bunch of business cards in it. So I'm going to flip through real quick and make sure there is there are no um, gift cards. No, no gift cards in there. Fortunately, poor Applebee's sitting over there all by its lonesome. Don't know what these are, but I'll just throw it in the yard sale box and maybe somebody will know what it is. Uh, random office thing. A ball. What's in this? More cards. So again, give me a second and let me make sure there's no gift cards in here. Yeah, nothing in there. Uh, used, all of this stuff right here is just really nothing, just old office supplies. But I can throw this at the yard sale because somebody could buy that for their own office. Down here, hey look, brand new construction paper. Only a little bit's been taken out, so that's definitely yard saleable. And down here is all files, unfortunately. Next thing we have is a little three drawer organizer. Honestly, don't know what's in here. <laughs> so we have a little insulin book, a little inhaler, a little piglet, a little piglet. Um, Tupperware thing and a couple masks. So nothing really in there. Go back in. Next drawer. We have some bag things, shrink wrap bags, dollar yard sale, thing of tissue paper, dollar yard sale, and some paperwork. Put that back in. And then the very last thing is a couple of masks, a magazine, uh, and literally paperwork. That was probably the most boring thing that I've been through thus far. Hopefully the next one's better. All right, this next tote looks like it has a bunch of Christmas themed things, judging by what's on the side here, but a lot of it's wrapped up. So I'm not 100% sure what that stuff is. So we'll open this one first and see what's wrapped up in here. This thing looks like a little, I don't know, like a little storefront Christmas thing. So Based on that and the boxes that I see from the side, it looks like it's just gonna be more of the like Christmas village type stuff. These are just a couple, um, I think these are pins. So pins with like little stuffed animals on it. But this whole box is full of <laughs> little miniature village pieces, I think. Fire station, right there. So what brand is it? All I see is department three Walmart on it and there's it's an opening in the back it's paper towel stuff <laughs> make me sneeze all right what else we got so bear with me about unwrapping this stuff i want to show you guys everything so it's another piece of the village next piece is a post office so i'm pretty sure my dad likes to build these uh christmas villages because they decorate for a lot of different holidays so i'm going to see if he wants some of them because they don't I mean, honestly, don't really sell for us, even the ones that we've listed on like Facebook Marketplace in the past. So I just, I mean, family always gets first dibs anyway. Oh, cool. Here's like a bridge cobblestone corners 2001 is what it says on the bottom. And there's one more thing in this box. And just looks like a church, maybe. So that's the last thing out of this box hit the light again again 
There's something down here that's bubble wrapped. I know a lot of you guys like Christmas, so hopefully you enjoy this box. Uh, this is a bookshop right there. They wrap this stuff really well too, so they thought a lot of it. This one is a bank. That's pretty cool. Country Christmas Bears, and they are in there. Lighted fire station. So there's that. That's a definitely bigger piece. This whole box is the fire station. Penguin tea light holder, right there. Another little thing in paper towel and bubble wrap. Just a little decorative red and white candle holder. This right here feels like another piece of a village. It is, and it says, it looks like they're, they put their own thing on it, it's a bakery. So I don't know if it's supposed to be painted like this or it's just an older one and the paint's kind of worn off. I'm not sure. You guys that know a lot about these village things can let me know. It doesn't have any kind of brand on the bottom, so I can't tell you that. This is a Christmas tree, which is a glass Christmas tree. That looks handmade, to be honest with you. They really did wrap this up. Um, this looks hand painted too, but it doesn't, it's not painted like the other pieces, but it is like a little, I don't know, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> This is light, Lighted Rite Aid Pharmacy, right there. And it actually came from Rite Aid, Rite Aid Home for the Holidays. And this one's Lighted Porcelain House. So these are easy to show at least, I don't have to unwrap them. So there's a house. I think two more things that are wrapped up here at the bottom. Ooh, I like this one. So this one has, a, it's battery operated, so I'm wondering if the, like, the windows light up which I'm assuming, but I like the colors. I like the blue with the brown and the snow on top. That's probably my favorite one though so far. And then this one, this very last thing at the bottom, just another little house. And this has cobblestone corners on the bottom. But I literally, oh, that just hit my ring. I literally unwrapped everything out of that box. So those of you that are like Christmas, I hope you enjoyed that box. Time out. I want to sit down for a second and I figured what better time to just call the Applebee's card and see what kind of balance it has on it. So I'm going to call my phone and I'm going to call it in real time so you guys can experience the excitement or sadness with me. Thank you for calling Applebee's gift card customer services. To obtain your card balance, have your account number available and press zero. Please wait while we access your information. Please, 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 please. Your card balance is 10. Dollars and zero. Ten, ten bucks. Guys, $10. I know we've usually when we call gift cards, we find like five cents, a dollar eighty. Like, I feel like this is the first time that I found like a good, a decent amount. I mean, that's an appetizer, right? That's an appetizer or soup or an, I mean, a cheap entree or so. That's Awesome, I can't believe how excited I am about that, but that's like the first time I found a decent amount on a credit card, so that's awesome. Now that that fun is over, let's get back into the boxes. I'm excited about the gift card, I can't lie. I'm so excited. I wish I could sing songs without getting copyrighted. Ooh, I know we found this on the main channel, but I forgot. Can't get it to fire for some reason, but. Oh, there's no BBs in this one. All right, well, that makes sense. A little coffee mug, a cigar box. Have some randomness in it. Now, these are actually uh, bank cards, so I can't, those are gift cards, I wish they were. Ooh, money. One, two, three, four. So we found 14 cents earlier. Five, six, there's six, so that is 20 cents plus the $10 gift card. See, find your money. Find in money. So that cigar box will sell, I'm sure. Whatever this is, I am not sure. This netted black stuff, um, doesn't really say exactly what it is, but I, I'm sure you guys know, you're smart. Random envelopes, this has stuff in it. Hey, jewelry. So this ring, this ring has nothing in it. Uh, this cross right here doesn't say anything either. This ring, which looks like a crown, doesn't say anything either. And this 
This is a cool looking cross. Doesn't say anything. Uh, and then there's one chain right here, if I can find the end of it. Yeah, I don't see anything written on that either. So I'm just gonna put this with all the other jewelry. Just an ace bandage, a staple gun. Good yard sale stuff. This, again, never has cookies in it. Let me get it open. Um, another penny, 21 cents. Finding money everywhere. Uh, this is just medical stuff, so this Hershey's chocolate has some good bars in there. Probably expired, I'm sure. Uh, Best Buy, June 2017, so maybe. But the mug and the bear might sell. Rainy Day Fund, little counter, that's good at yard sale. Goldfish stuff, some shoe shine. What's in here is a picture, an old razor, which is ill. More money down here, more money. More. What is that? I don't know. What is this? I don't know. No. No. Ooh, we got some silver down here. Oh, there's a penny in here. Ooh, and a dime. Hey, more money in this razor thingy. Get out. I need to get to my money. Again, guys, money's money. I'll take any kind of money. I don't care. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 25, 35. I don't know what my total is now, but that's a decent amount. And then in this box, we have it all at the bottom here. I'm not going to count this out, but there's at least a dollar in dimes down here. So I'm going to take all that out and put it in our jug. Remy Martin container. Okay. I don't know if those that kind of stuff has any collector's value. Um, I see a token, another penny, some brand new shoelaces. Um, I'm not really seeing much down here. Another penny, just like random like pins and uh nothing really golf ball which I'll take the golf ball out some razors no more shoelaces another penny uh, I see more cards in here I want to see if any of them are gift cards no all right all personal cards a digital scale does it work Yes, it does. So the batteries are good on it. Cool. Um, yeah. So literally it down here, guys. I see a couple more pennies. And a box. Oh, a rusty box cutter. Don't want that one. I was about to say we can always use box cutters, which we can, but I don't want that one. Yep, that is all. Bigger box time. Let's see what we got. Uh, so this is the one. That has crafting stuff in it. And I don't know exactly what they were trying to make, but all of this right here is wood. It has these two wooden like support things up here. And then they just put a calendar in the middle. So there's a cowboy's one. There's a little dog figurine. It looks like a Rottweiler, right? A little dog figurine. A solar top. And then right here is another one. This one right here is probably the best looking one. Let me get this big box out of the way. And I can show you guys better. There. So this is just like a little ornament. And it's on like three blocks. And then it has the base. But it's just like decorations around. So like I said, this one looks better than the rest of them. Here's the full thing of the one with the dog. Again, I don't know what they were trying to, to accomplish there. And then this one is just a Dallas Cowboys one. So again... They're going out in the yard sale. We'll see if they sell. That's going to be it for this Deep Search number two. Subscribe and stay tuned for Deep Search number three, which is coming soon. Not sure what day, but coming soon, so stay tuned. Again, if you haven't subscribed or seen our main channel, the link is down below, as well as the all the parts to the Rich, Rich CEO storage unit. They are also all down in the description. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to comment. All that good stuff. Have fun. Laugh more. Peace out.